Hey everyone, happy new year and welcome back. It is so great to be back. I took a two week break because I definitely needed it after the holidays. And right after the holidays, we went straight into one of our best friend's weddings and it was a few day event. So um, it was really a Friday through Sunday an event and we have been utmostly blessed to be part of their big day and we can't we wish that i have no words because we wish them all the best they're really close to us they live probably five minutes away from us and it's just it's been a blessing to see their relationship from the beginning to a new beginning now that they have embarked in on getting married so in today's video, I wanted to do kind of like the best of 2023. Um, I know it's a little bit late of a video getting out, but I just wanted to go through some of the staples that I was able to purchase in 2023 and how they can be used from now and like throughout the year and throughout the seasons and still be that stable piece. So I think first, uh, and, rem and remember, a lot of these are thrifted items. I do have some that were purchases from like Target. Other so, places like one being this vessel that I had got from a thrifted a thrift store. And it was just such a large piece. I believe I had paid $8 for it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't have the sticker on it, but it looks handmade. There are some imperfections on it, but it's very beautiful. I can use this throughout all the seasons with how dark glaze this is. And it has like this kind of antique bottom here. And I just love that for, you can do it by itself or you can put an arrangement in it. It's really just depending on you. But I really like this piece and I feel like I can use it. This one was a DIY I did um, last year, summertime. I had found a few vases from thrift stores and ones that I had just purchased. I think one was like a Hobby Lobby purchase. The other two were thrifted items. So I went ahead and I did that kind of like rustic, not really rustic, it's just like aged vessel DIY on them with the um, baking soda and just paint that I had on hand. So if you guys want, I can link that video down below for you. So if you want to see how I did this one, but this was one, a vase that I had thrifted and um, it just came out really nice. I still like using this one. I use this one mostly by itself as a statement piece with maybe like a smaller one next to it, but it does look really good with stems out of it. I did it. I did an arrangement for Christmas and it was like at the front entryway because our front entryway table is narrow so it doesn't have a lot of that depth space to put like a larger one like that first uh, vase that I had just showed you guys that one is more on the wider side so putting that one there on that table it's kind of like a hit or miss just because I feel like it may fall if the cats jump on that console table but this one is like the perfect size for there so I have this one there just by itself but I haven't really styled for uh, spring or anything like that I kind of just removed all of my Christmas decor and just kept the place a little bit bare just so that way we can get a breather from all of the holiday decor so this one was a DIY and in that same video I did two more so this one also being a diy i got this vessel originally from hobby lobby but i i wanted to like make it a dupe of some of one of the higher end vessels that you're seeing now like rh has them cb2 um pottery barn um, a few other places as well and i just figured that this one was an easy diy i just took some black paint that i already had on hand some uh, baking soda and I went to town on it and I really like the way that it came out. I believe I got this one for originally $7.49. Next up is another one that I DIY'd in that same video, but right now I'm using it as a crock. It is a little bit on the shorter side, but 
I wanted some place to put it and display it and I think it came out really nice. Again, another high-end dupe DIY that I did in that video. And right now I just have like some of my spoons and spatulas that I use for everyday cooking and I just styled that on my counter. Again, I haven't really decorated anything. I've just kind of been utilizing what I already have and leaving the space bare. Now moving on to something that I feel like a lot of people can relate to is probably baskets or gathering uh, baskets if you want to say. So this one I got from Target. It was part of the Studio McGee, um, I believe it's part of their fall line or summer line, excuse me. So it is on the wider end, pretty wide. I like this one specifically for our coffee table because I can gather books on here. I can put like a book here, a candle, our coasters for um, just because we have it on there. And then if I want to, I can hide like our, you know, our remotes, a really only one remote that we use. So our remote in here and it's not just out. But I do like this one for how wide it is and I can fit a lot of things. It doesn't really sink in like I know some of those other ones can. I've seen a few girls on YouTube, what they'll do to coincide that sinking in effect is place a book on here underneath just to have it um, bring it up a little bit and then they'll put like their decor in so that things are not tumbling inside. I believe um, uh, Jenna's home or I can link her down below. She is really good at decorating as well as um, Evelyn. So I really like following them and you know seeing what ideas they have. I really do also like some of their feedbacks when they do the Studio McGee and Hearth and Hand, um, like their new lines and stuff like that. They'll have like really good input on there. Another one that I, a basket that I got, but this one was thrifted. It was actually a lucky find because when I brought it up to the register, the woman was like, oh my gosh, this is a great find. Um, they're usually really expensive. So it's this basket here. And it is a Lo Longenberger basket hand woven in Dresden, Ohio. And this one is from 1996. It's actually, um, called you can see it there on the bottom and then it also has the signature of who made it on that day but this is just like a really good sturdy basket we're looking for a basket for our friend's bridal shower or um, bachelorette party excuse me and there's a few there everybody was taking their time getting back to me on which one they liked so I just picked this one up and I was like I like it so in the event that we don't use it which we didn't I can keep it and then when I found out how great of a find was I definitely wanted to keep it but um, right now I'm just using it in our guest bathroom and I put like a few towels inside so like, for this wedding we had a few people stay at our house and um, you know it was just conveniently because his house is close by so some of our friends that were part of the wedding like the groomsmen they were able to stay here. We also had the officiant stay here because he's my cousin. But um, we, I just went ahead and I threw these in this basket so it was an easy grab. I also have a stool that I'm gonna show you guys that I got from Goodwill. That's another staple piece as well. So I placed this on top of that stool so it was convenient. They walked in, they knew exactly where the towels were. No problems. Okay guys, so leaning back into that, I'm gonna show you the stool that I got. Got it from Goodwill. It's kind of big to see. Let me see if I can. Here you go. So I believe I paid $10 for this one. It was on the pricier side than I had originally wanted to pay for it, but it is made out of wood, pretty sturdy, and I figured I could just use it as something that I can keep here on um, on the side for like the baskets or anything like that in the bathrooms. So moving forward, a couple of things that I also got from the Studio McGee 
section, um, spring, or excuse me, summer section was this, um, this bowl. So it is kind of like a gathering bowl. You can put any kind of, you can put any kind of bowl filler. That's the word I'm looking for, bowl filler inside of these. And it was pretty good. It was $25. And I believe they still might have it online only. I don't believe I've been seeing it in the stores. If they do, it's probably um, on like the clearance section. I'm not sure, but I believe that they still have these online. In that same line, there was also like a candle, uh, candle holder, but you can use it for anything. You can use it for candles, you can use it also for a bowl filler, you can use it for napkins. I actually used it once for um, to put napkins in the center for anything. So this one, it's a marble piece. They do vary in coloration um, when you see them in person. So this is definitely still in stores and online. It was also, it was $30, excuse me. $30 and it's a pretty big piece. I do like it a lot. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have put in here. I believe I put coasters in here, candle, napkins. Um, you can get really get away with using this for anything. If you want to keep this in your bathroom, you can use it for like perfume, you can use it for soaps, you can use it for whatever the case may be, but it is a nice piece, very durable, large, and I do like it as a stable piece to keep around. Now, um, most of my paintings are already on the walls so but those are also staple pieces that if you are going thrifting and you find any kind of artwork or anything like that that you can just keep around for the seasons there are some that are on the floral side so i'll show you guys that i'll put it on the screen or put a clip in that are florals but i like florals and I don't feel like it really dictates spring or summer or anything like that. I feel like I can keep it around my house. It was on the walls for Christmas and I don't think it looked weird. Um, I also have this small little one that I haven't really put up anywhere. I've just been kind of leaning it in the kitchen just because it has like fruit and stuff like that. It is handmade. Um, but I like it a lot. I got this one from Goodwill for $2.99. I did think it was a little pricey for $2.99, but since I like the frame and I like the art that was inside, I felt like it was a win. I really didn't have to worry about taking anything off on the back and putting in new art. Or I have two more things, but this one, these marble um, candlesticks, I got from off of Facebook Marketplace. They're really heavy. Um, they were made in Pakistan. So I was really excited about those, but they're so beautiful and the variations and color are really nice. And you can pretty much use this all year round and just have some taper candlesticks in them. You can use them as like a paperweight if you wanted to. It's just nice to have around as accented decor. Then lastly, one thing that I want to share with you guys are books and magazines. So essentially I've been using them as decor pieces and I'm sure you guys seen it in either my video, other YouTubers videos, or just um, on you know designers websites or on Pinterest or anything like that. But what I've been having a lot of fun with doing with a lot of these Books. So this one is um, Beauty at Home by Erin Lauder. I got this one from Home Goods. It was $34.99. It is a little bit on the pricier end of books that I will purchase because most of the time I get mine from thrift stores or an estate sale <laughs> or as a gift. But this is the size. It's pretty big. I did open it up for Christmas to a, um, what's it called? It's just like a Christmassy aesthetic. So this one, it shows like the garland and then on this side it had like cookies and a picture with her grandpa because this is her life story book. So she explains on how they had celebrated um, 
their holidays and stuff like that but i just thought that it was really cute to open up here and you can see that there um you can open up any of these books to just what you decide so if i wanted to do more of a spring one i can open it up to where she has all these sugar jars here and it's just nice as an aesthetic if you want to keep this open with you know you can have this open here and then you can just have this like as a paperweight if you wanted to or you know you can layer it with like another book or another magazine on top or you can layer it with a candle next to it or you can just leave it by itself i've been layering um so at our entryway i have two nightstands underneath and i layer books underneath that mostly because at first when i had put those nightstands underneath the tops are a little bit on the distressed side i haven't fixed them yet so i haven't seen them down or stained um, one of the dressers or nightstands is actually missing a knob. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed that in my videos. But um, I haven't gotten around to doing anything when I went to the thrift store and I actually found enough knobs to do it with. I, I went to, what, what is it called? Um, Habitat for Humanity and they had like these bags of, of knobs and I was really interested in these these knobs that I had found there when I got up to the register, the guy wanted to charge me $35 for the knobs. And it was pretty expensive because I could get those knobs essentially anywhere if I wanted to pay $35. I could buy brand new knobs that are not ones that I have to, um, to fix or varnish or polish or anything like that. And he wasn't willing to come down on the pricing, so I walked off without them. But I feel like there is going to be some knobs that are out there for me soon, so we'll see. You know, I just continue to go to estate sales, yard sales, anything like that. And if I find some, even if they're not all the same, but I can find some that are similar here, like maybe four here, and then I have two others, because I believe two, four, six, no, there's eight. So it would be like, you know, mismatching, but it would be okay if I was okay with that. And then um, for my birthday, Scott had got me the Magnolia Home and Body book. So I took off the cover. You guys can see that it has this nice spine here. Color is very neutral. You can use this all year round as well. And um, for me, I've pretty much just been using it as like a study guide. You know, like I go ahead and I put like some markings of things that I like here and um, I don't know just if I find anything that I do like or that I like in our future whenever we do renovate I'll go ahead and mark post market so that way I have references so this is one that I do like to use a lot and then also um, living well by design uh, by Melissa Penfold so I have a lot as you can see stickered here and i like using hers as a guide you can also you know open it up to anything any page and it's just a beautiful book aesthetically pleasing so like here's a few pages this would be like a nice summer one that you want to keep out um i mean it just really depends on what your style and aesthetic is this is a really nice one too and then you could just keep these open and that becomes part of your decor. Another thing that I have done and I'm not sure if a lot of people are aware um, is you can subscribe to Our House and they will send you magazines of their, or catalogs of their newest catalogs. So spring, summer, winter, whatever the case may be. So this one is their spring of 2024. I just got this one like maybe one or two weeks ago. So I got really lucky with fall that they had sent me two, but I think it's because they had like two different catalogs in it. So I had I was able to put one in and open the other. But this is just an aesthetically pleasing. It's nice to have there. So if anybody wants to pick up and grab a book or a magazine or a catalog and just flip through it. So again, really pretty, you know, they, 
Our house is just aesthetically a beautiful place to go and visit if you've ever gone. It's the same thing with Restoration Hardware, but with their catalog, you don't have to pay. So you just subscribe, say that you wanna receive their catalogs, and they'll send them to you. So I have the one from Fall, and now I have this one. So I'll probably stick this one also by the entryway table. Right now I just have three books. I have one open up to a floral section and you can do that as well. And that's instant decor for you guys. And it's free of charge. You don't have to go anywhere. It's also kind of like a picture. So if you were like, oh, I would like to have more art around my house, but either you can't commit to any artwork or you just don't have a lot of wall space, that's perfectly fine. You can open up a nice book that's aesthetically pleasing in your taste and then just leave that open. That's something that you can do. Um, candles are a really good way too, uh, as well as just like baskets and stuff like that and vases. You can be as collective as you want, especially with vessels and books and baskets and you'll always have a use for them in my opinion. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will be going in soon for fall, or excuse me, fall, spring, and summer. I don't do a lot of decorating because I keep my house essentially the same all year round and then I only decorate more for like the seasons. But this year I really want to focus on two areas. I don't know if I'll be able to do both, but one, I would like to, I would say at least achieve one. So the two places I would like to try and do a little bit of a renovation or a DIY is um, my office slash craft room or our bedroom. Our bedroom is definitely more of an, un an undertaking as far as expense and labor. For my craft room, it is on the smaller side, so for me, what I mostly want to do is I want to paint it and I want to paint it a color that's more, I guess, kind of like, not rose, like, I can't even think of it, but I have an idea in my head. I have a few things that I've pinned on Pinterest. I do want to see about moving uh, one of the tables that I have in my craft room into the closet so that I can create more flow space. Maybe moving the bed around that's in there because I have a day bed that um, has a treadle and you can pull it up to make a full size bed. Right now where it's at, it is in a good space. It's just that I think I would like to shift some of the furniture around. I'd like to put up artwork and I do have a little bit of a collection of Funko Pop, so I would like to put those up. Um, so just like I have some ideas of things going around, but I definitely want to see if I can get that place in. If I don't do my craft room, it'll definitely be our bedroom. Bedroom's definitely going to be paint, new furniture, uh, rugs, putting up pictures. I still haven't put any of our wedding pictures up in our bedroom yet. Our bedroom has been completely neglected ever since we moved in, and it's just because we've been focusing out here, then we focused outside, and that is another undertaking as well, because right now we're trying to still finish up this fire pit area that we had started during, during like early fall, or no, excuse me, late fall, and the weather hasn't been great. Um, Holidays came, then we had this wedding, and it's just been a lot. So we're gonna try and see if we can finish that up and that side of the house as well, because on that side where the fire pit is, we want to do pea gravel and our vegetable garden. And then on the other side, we'd like to do, I would like to do my garden, but I feel like that might come later. So a little bit at a time, we are still getting our grounds and our bearings into this home. And I really hope you guys will stick around and subscribe so you can see all of the new things that we're doing around and for any fun DIYs that I do this year, as well as thrift shopping, guys. I definitely wanna to go to the thrift store and see any new finds that I can get since the new year. I have not been. I have been refraining, refraining from going, and um, 
I don't know, I think it's time. I need to get in, I need to bust out my camera, go into the thrift store, see what's going on, see if they have anything new, and yeah, just share it with you guys. I really am glad that you guys stopped by today, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye, and Happy New Year.